Yeah, so, I mean, have you uh, played against any Jokers? Or? I have not even played Joker. Yet. Okay, so that's why you <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm I was like. I'm just lying along, like, all right, you, like, you got this here. Yeah. Six. I believe you. Yeah. Although uh, I'm a little skeptical because, again, Olimar's a monster, but. Olimar's a monster, but uh, I would love to just, like, ham on about uh, Olimar because, like, he's good, but I think that there are glaring weaknesses. And I think people overrate his smash attacks. Uh -huh. His smash attacks all have item priority, meaning that any old move can beat it out. Like, it, I'm talking like Dr. Mario can just land on top of an Olimar trying to anti-air you uh -huh. with up smash. It, like, he can just land on top of you with Nair, and he wins. They will always win every single time. So you actually have to space out your smash attacks fairly intelligently, mm -hmm. um, but that's not to say that up smash isn't super duper powerful. Yeah. I'm not trying to say that Olimar isn't a strong character, but like, I mean, yeah, priority or not, it's hard to deal. It's hard to argue with uh, 60 damage out the gate, right? Yeah, I'll very smash difficult. I'll smash the up air, and it's, you know, yeah. throw a white pick and run, get your purple, white, and blue out, and it's uh, go time. I yep. see K9 on the screen, and I see uh, I see a Ness on the screen. Uh, Raimi? I think it's Raimi. I think yeah. that's how you pronounce it. So we're going with it now. So we got Raimi versus K9. Ness versus Wolf, and... K9 kind of been on the rise, uh, you know, in SoCal overall. Did, uh, you know, had some pretty strong tournament results, uh, you know. Especially with all, a lot of the foreign invaders. I think K9's been always, like, a player that has turned it on when the competition gets stronger. Oh, yeah, yeah he's a pretty competitive guy. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, very serious about his craft. Uh, there's uh, lots of respect there. I think, um, <laughs> I think being able to live with, like, Mr. R is probably helpful. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, getting in that training and um, Raimi, uh, some questionable PK Thunder options, uh, just maybe trying to confuse K9, because definitely confusing me. I'm not sure what the point of it was. Mm. <laughs> yeah, let's the forward air, though, in the neutral. There we go. Um, uh? this, this is confusing, actually. What? Um, <laughs> I, I think, because uh, Ness has some pretty good aerials uh, to contest Wolf yeah. with. I think he should be spacing himself out a little bit better here. Um, he may just be trying to use the PK Thunder like at like the tail to disrupt, yeah. but K9 was at a pretty low percent like when you saw that. Um, ah, just getting nared for days here. Right. Uh, got pretty fortunate with that uh, recovery, however. Now he's back to playing a little bit more of a standard uh, mess with the here's the PK Thunder coming out. Didn't hit himself that time. Yeah, yeah, just barely missed himself there. Okay, using the PK Thunder. Okay. And chasing him now. <laughs> yeah. I think it just needs to be... I think what I see from Raimi already is that he's going straight for the combos that he thinks is, are going to work, and he's not really baiting out uh, K9's options here. Um, I think that's what he needs to start doing. He needs to bait out K9's options as best he can and be, like... I don't want to tell someone be confident in something, but you must be confident in your aerials. Right. You know, you must be confident in your spacing. Especially with Ness, the, uh, the character that he is. And, man, he's just going for these Peaky Thunder 2s. I, this looks like me uh, playing Smash 64 in 19, you know, 1999 before I knew mm. what was going on. Yeah. I, and Raimi's doing better than I would, but I'm, I'm just, I'm not sure. We gotta, we gotta talk to him about the uh, the tactical decision making on why he's it's, going for Piggy Thunder 2 so much. It's not safe. Yeah. You gotta be safe, especially against a character like Wolf. Like Wolf, unfortunately, there's a discrepancy here because he can just be safe by hitting you with Forge. Right. It's like minus 10 on shield. You know, um, Wolf is just insanity. That was a good little back air, though. Yeah, it was actually uh, no tech zone for uh, K9 there. It's got him uh, off stage again. Oh my god, what an air dodge off stage! That was I don't know what that was about either. Mm. But it doesn't matter. He picks up the four tilt. He has oh my, he didn't die. There That'll we go. That was the weak hit of the bear too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And K9 looks a little perplexed. He's like, he's like, why would you do all that stuff? Those picky thunder twos. What's that about? <laughs> And he's like, I was going for the high risk, high reward option, my friend. And sometimes you just gotta, you don't get the rewards, you just gotta pay your dues with the risks. And this guy's now like, we're here. <laughs> this guy's like, I'm on stream. I'm gonna make something happen. Yeah. Here. He's going for the shaky special, and just didn't, uh, didn't quite get the PK Thunder two to connect. But I will say though, he did something interesting. Like when he did the PK Thunder two, like straight down into the ground, he yeah. was able to immediately go into another PK Thunder. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why he went to another PK Thunder, but hey, you know what? Uh, he knows something about PK Thunder. This man's going to discover why this character is super meta with PK Thunder 2. So I'm, I'm with you, Raimi. I'm totally with you. Right now, uh, he yeah. He changed up his game plan. He's going back to the, oh, he picked him up a PK Fire, you know, challenged him in the air, but he's going to a more aerial game. 
Um, but mm. unfortunately, Wolf seems to be able to contest forward air to forward air. You know, mm. who would have thought, right? Wolf's forward air being pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wolf's forward air is good? Nah, man, you're crazy. You're crazy being able to completely combo into itself like three different times. Yeah, I know. It's a good move. And you know, like, when I see a character like Ness, he has really good out of shield options with Nair. Like, I think uh, Ness's Nair is really understated. It's pretty big, and it's very fast. Uh, like, being able to just shield, like, K9's options, like, until he starts getting uncomfortable with those options. Nair can really mess you up, and it can kill you too. So and he went for a back air in that situation instead of a landing neutral. <laughs> There's the Pika Thunder too again. Uh, but, whiffing the grab. Yeah, and then, uh, but Kena able to get that up smash to take the stock and just going right back to work and putting on damage. Did he go for another Pika Thunder? I was aware. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised at all. Oh Look my at god, these. he went for the dunk off the neutral air landing. Uh, didn't quite get it though. Why do I get this feeling that? K9's gonna go for a dunk anyway. Like, I feel like he. Oh my god, there's Pika Thunder. Yo, it's a landing he option. Just at him. He's just like, what are you doing? Uh, oh, he almost got it that time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see what he's going for. He's just trying to gimmick the crap out of him. All right. It, I mean, when you look at the discrepancy in the health bars, man, I don't know. These gimmicks aren't helping. I'm like, Ramey, I'm going to tell you about this one gimmick from Ness. It's called Back Throw. It's, uh, it's about time to unleash that one. I think so too. Yeah. I agree with you there. I agree with you most often. Hey, there we go. Okay, making it back. I'm There's telling a neutral you. Air. There we go. And that in there. There we go. Taking them out. All right, let's go, Ramy. You can battle this one back. <laughs> I, Here's I, a PK I, Thunder too, and another PK Thunder. Okay, so yeah, he's doing that intentionally. He goes straight down, and then yeah. he does another PK Thunder. But like, he's never like high up enough for it to be able to work again. So like, uh, you gotta hit the, the lab or something with this. Or it also, it doesn't help the fact that K9 is a wily veteran that's probably just sitting back saying, I don't know what he's doing. I'm just gonna wait and just kind of punish it after he's done. Yeah. I'm sure he'll have lag after the uh, second picky Thunder. I, I wanna see the match that Raimi won to get here. That's an off stage. There's oh, the back here. That, that should do it. Yeah, yeah. nice clean game coming out from K9. Yeah. Ramey laughing at that one off, uh, but, you know, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's PK Thunder 2, man. <laughs> he's just like, well, that was that. <laughs> okay, time to get my results. Right. That, um, I don't, uh, I don't know what that was all about, but, you know, that was a creative, that was a creative mind. Hey, you know, it's, uh, when I, when I used to coach people, sometimes I would tell them, the best way to determine what beats a specific move that you do is just to only use that move and just see how your opponents react to beating it. That's a good idea. <laughs> so all you just do is pick a Thunder 2 over and over and over and over again. And then you find out, oh, if my opponent waits and does nothing, pick a Thunder 2 gets beaten by waiting and doing nothing and then getting forward air by Wolf. That's just sometimes we got to learn that way, right? That's smart. <laughs> I, You know, um, kind of – I. What's that saying that you would say uh, you have to push to see how far you'd go? Is, what o is it? Only those who go too far truly know how far they can go. Only those who go too far know how far they can go. I'm sure there's a more there's a much more eloquent, like, actually written way. I think it was like, who, who said that? It wasn't Hemingway. Was it Hemingway? I forget. I don't know. Some, some you know, canon, uh, old, not old, but, like, you know, American author or...